Hop on a Cadillac deal, made a steal with the chauffeur on the wheel. Lady, tell me how you feel. Now nah, wait, your experience is surreal. Do you wanna live it up? Are you tired of giving up? Come on, girl, listen up. 747 lifted up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me how you feeling in this Cadillac truck. Always aim for the top. Be the best of the best. Winning on winning on winning. Woo! All I ever think about is winning. I don't need to fit. Your ambition, your position. Yeah, I don't know what you're missing. Confidence is something that you build brick by brick over a lifetime. But here are my three tips to boost your confidence now. So let's do this, y'all. Yeah, yeah. All I ever think about is winning. I don't need to fit in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I try to explain. Adversity of any kind can be tough to overcome. Nobody wants to experience hardships. But if you've never experienced pain, how are you supposed to know what joy feels like? We all have animal instincts, and they typically kick in once you're faced with adversity. So I usually encourage people to purposely put themselves in tough spots so they can build their mental scar tissue, and then they can boost their confidence. When I needed to raise money for my last company, I drove from Montreal, Canada, all the way to LA, California. Now that's a two week drive and I stopped in every state so I can meet with solar contractors, make some sales, get their feedback and build some traction behind my product. Now everybody thought I was crazy because I didn't have any money. So I would sleep in cheap motels and cheap Airbnbs. I'd even sleep in my car sometimes. But after I did that, everything else became easy, like a walk in the park. I'm telling you, the hard times got me to build my confidence and appreciate what I have today. If you plan to always stay safe and take the easy route, then what are you gonna do once you're faced with a real life tough situation? Most likely, you're gonna get the worst end of the deal. The harder the challenge, the better it is for you because it's gonna test your limit, you're gonna see what you're capable of, and in return, your confidence will go up. All I ever think about is not enough money, not enough recognition, not tall enough, not fit enough. I know, the grass is always greener on the other side, but it's all a matter of perspective. So don't let everybody else's reality affect you. Just focus on your own. Whenever I find myself comparing, I usually try to take a step back and instead focus on my shine and what I bring to the table. I remember when I made that drive across North America, meeting all these contractors, some of them were using software worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And here I was with my MVP trying to make a sale. But I never lost my confidence. And guess what? Most of the time, it worked. So by staying confident in yourself and in your product, you inspire others to have confidence in you. So stop comparing yourself, love yourself, love yourself. Don't try to be anybody else. As Oscar Wilde said, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. All I ever think about is it's important to have a passion, something that excites you to the highest level, something that you wanna become better and better at each and every day. Whatever it is, music, painting, writing, triathlons, MMA, anything that gets you in that zone. Anything that helps you to disconnect from the rest of the world, that will help you boost your confidence. We interrupt this episode for an important message from our sponsors. Sports. You practice one you love every day, and you're gonna keep winning, 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 and winning. Sometimes things happen way beyond our control, whether it's a breakup, family problems, job loss. But if you have that special mission, that passion that cements your place in this world, then you will never let these distractions reduce your confidence. Even in business, when I was meeting with clients and investors, I was open about my love for rap music. And that got me to connect at a deeper level. It made me more human. I wasn't just some avatar with no feelings, trying to make a sell or raise money. And people connect with that. Owning what you truly love in front of anyone will certainly attract the right people around you. And that's the next level. So find something that excites you and never let go of it 
until you find something that excites you even more. So to recap, embrace adversity, stop comparing yourself to others and find your passion. This is how you win, win and win. And now it's time for Zia's killer question. Oh no! Everybody jump on a scene. How do you remain confident when the future of the world seems so vulnerable? Zia, always killing it with the questions. Well, truth is, we have to focus on what we can control. And what we can control is our confidence level despite of what's happening around us. So I understand that we live in uncertain times right now, but I'm not gonna let it bring me down because I believe in a better future. My confidence comes from within. So I'm gonna stay positive, I'll keep fulfilling my mission, and I'm never gonna let any third party dictate my confidence or my future. Got it? Thanks for watching. I got none but love, and I challenge you to become the best of the best of the best version of yourself. Next week, you don't want to miss this because we're going to talk about fitting in and I'll give you my three tips to bring you to the next level. So make sure you subscribe to my channel for another episode of How to Win. Yeah. Straight in your position Y'all don't know what you're missing